Welcome to another episode of Tube Test. We've got a great show for you today. We've got the Equinox Systems mic kit that just arrived. And right out of the gate, I must say, it's kind of cool that they've got their, you know, little logo on the side that says Equinox Systems. And they also have a stamp over here that's got their cool logo. But uh, let's check out the packaging and see how they packed it up. So I'm already digging the fact that you open this mic kit up and you already see their cool logo and environmental friendly people kind of dig the fact that uh, you know they use the recycled paper which is pretty neat and it's packed in there pretty well as you can see. Let's pull it out. Now I just noticed that over here is kind of some of the parts and it's the connector that you have an option of ordering or you can do it without the connector but it's in a nice little case so let's open that up first so yeah it's kind of nice everything's individually packed and not to lose anything I want to keep everything in the same oops I just dropped it but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything in the same box that I came in. And I got the side rails. I've got the connector. Uh, that looks great. I've got the little mounting plate that uh, the capsule mounts on. And this looks like the hardware for uh, the connector, the microphone cable connector at the bottom. And one other. So already it looks pretty cool that it's packed pretty well. And I'm going to open up for the first time and look inside this other case. Uh, this is exciting. So it's nice that they individually packed these additional parts and it, it looks like this is the head grill, this is the mic uh, body tube, and this is the um, the bottom, I guess the butt, you know, the butt piece, <laughs> you know what, is that what you call it? Anyways, um, I have to say I'm kind of digging the packaging. So good job you guys at Equinox Systems. And last night I saw that Equinox Systems had put on YouTube a way to build this microphone. So instead of me saying, hey, this is how you put it together, I want to show you guys that. And if you just go to YouTube, which I have it queued up and ready to go, if you just type in the EQUA or the EQU47 assembly part one of three, they'll get you started. So, you know, by playing this, this is Skyler with Equinox Systems. I'm going to show you how to put together an EQU47 mic body. So to start out, you're probably going to want to put the male bender connector inside of the end cap. So I'll let you guys check that out and I'll put a link in my description so it's easy for you guys to go to it. But um, I'm going to take a break now. And actually, I watched um, one of the videos and he mentioned sandwich, so you got to go check that out. I'm going to take a break and go have a sandwich and prepare to build my Equinox Systems mic kit. And we'll be back with you in a second. So I continued to unpack the microphone kit and inspect all the different parts that come in the kit. And I noticed that even at this level, everything's still individually packed. And I was checking out the mic body and the bottom base and the head grill. Looked fantastic. Just getting it ready to build it out. So now that I've unpacked the microphone kit, 
I actually had a chance to watch all the videos for a second time and I highly recommend going online on YouTube to check out the videos that Skylar and the Equinox system crew has put together and put up there and there's three videos and they're step by step I think in 15 minutes uh, each video is about five minutes but in about 15 minutes you have uh, your body kind of put together and ready to put in your electronics and your tube and um, decide on the capsule that you're going to put in. But another thing that I thought about is a shock mount. What shock mount am I going to use? There's a number of shock mounts out there. There's inexpensive ones and there's expensive ones. And I don't know, is it worth it to put, you know, uh, an expensive shock mount with your expensive microphone that you spend a lot of time building or do you want to go the route of getting an inexpensive one so I'll check them out and bring it to you next time on tube tests the next time on tube tests well we've been getting a lot of emails and it's been a lot of fun I just want to say thanks to a few people out there you know Robert and Patrick and there are a few other ones that I'm forgetting right now but um, they kind of actually well Patrick did Patrick showed me this website called 12 gauge and this is a place where you can actually get a microphone that's made from a 12 gauge shotgun shell <laughs> pretty cool huh anyways I want to thank uh, Patrick for pointing that out and we totally appreciate that. And if you guys come across a cool website that we should check out, then let us know. Well, the guys over at 12 Gauge are going to send us over some microphones to test out. So we're pretty excited and we can't wait to bring it to you and test it out.